So you're working with a team of people to edit a document and to work on a document. And this is done in Office 365. So let's go ahead and begin this. I've opened up and just opened it up as view. I'm not editing right now. I've just clicked on the document and it comes up. And I want to do a few comments to this document. So I'm going to click on the comments field here. Notice everything shifts over just a little bit. And there's no comments, right? So I'm going to go ahead and add a new comment. Okay, and it gives me some instruction. Please select something in the document to comment on or select a comment to reply to. So I'm just gonna say here, let's just select this right here and add a comment to this. So here I can go over and select new comment and then it says my name here. And let's say, um, uh, should this say um, seven, instead of seven right and then i may want to add somebody's name so let's say that i'm working on this document with multiple people i'm just going to say mike should this say that and then i'm going to hit post and then this is going to show up here as a comment so if, if i didn't have my comment window open when i open up the document so when i first open up the document i'm sharing it and I see a little comment here, I can just click and see this comment. Now notice here, I'm still not editing the document. So here, I'm just gonna reply, and I'm gonna say, uh, you know, I would actually be the other person, and I'd be Mike, but since we're just doing it this way, we'll just do it this way. Um, so um, I would put maybe Jeff, um, sounds good. All right. And then um, I'd spell things right. That, that's always helpful. And then I'd hit post. And now you see here that we have a comment. We've, we've asked a specific person here, Mike, for example, to make a comment or ask them a specific question. And then here, Mike, we'll just pretend this is Mike, okay, says, yes, that sounds good. When he gets done with his part of this, he just simply clicks on it and says done. All right, when he clicks on this, this is gonna fade out and I don't know if we're gonna see it actually fade. There it is right there, all right? So this means that this person, which again, this is Mike, we're just pretending here, uh, did answer the question that he needed to answer. And so you can go down through an entire document and make these changes. And so this is a great way to collaborate on a document and extract new um, tasks that may be associated with that document. Perhaps you're designing a doghouse and uh, you want to make sure uh, that the doghouse dimensions are now uh, 10 by 24 instead of 10 by 12. So you would comment on that over here. Hey, Mike, can we make the doghouse 10 by 24 instead of 10 by 12? And then Mike will respond, yes, I've, I have this as a new requirement. So that's how you do that. Now, if you want to actually go in from this point and make the edits as suggested here, we just simply hit Edit Document, and we can edit it right in Word online. And notice here that it's going to come up here in just a moment, and it's going to pull up, and now we don't see the comment box over here, but that's okay. We just click on the comment again, and now you see the comments here. So if we wanted to change it, now we could say seven, right? And um, then when we save this, then that becomes uh, complete. So we can go in here and check that bad boy off. We can also delete the comments. So you wanna make sure that you put the check marks in because that makes it easier for others who are looking at the comments, especially when there's lots of comments, to scroll down and find the ones that are still uh, not grayed out and be able to comment on those.